looking at our junior lifeguard program. We started this program last year. I believe it's starry starting to become a success. What we teach is conservation, ocean awareness, beach safety. I like this class. I recommend everybody to sign up as long as you're trying to lose weight or anything. But still, it is very fun to me. You get to do lots of fun things here, like doing lots of relays and swimming past waves and going paddleboarding, going to a reef and nature day and running past the pier. It's great. It's whole program. It's great and awesome. It's very fun and it really helps you exercise. And teach them on how to use uh, boards, rescue boards, uh, kayaking. We also go out on the reef with the kayaks and the boards and take pictures of fish, try to remember the fish we see, identify corals, come back, and we'll go through our species identification books and try to identify certain species of fish that we see. We'll actually uh, go out, collect seaweed, dump out seaweed, see what's in the seaweed, and try to identify juvenile species as well. As you can see, it's, there's a lot of waves, which I've crashed into. They teach us surfing, um, canoeing, um, um, how to rescue. We got to see the reef, got to see the creek, and so much more. So fun. Well, we try to promote uh, accessibility of lifeguards to the public as well. With this program, we get to know the families and the children and all that. And right at this time, we've got young kids in it, so we hope bring more ch younger children and have these kids kind of go, the, go through the ranks where they volunteer and then they become lifeguards out here as well. It's pretty fun. I might, I, I might try out to be a one. I mean, it's pretty cool. I like it. I think it's worth it to come here because you, you actually get, you actually have lots of learning to becoming a lifeguard. If someone's drying, you, you can save them. In order for you to get like a degree in like being a doctor or a police officer, you at least have to start somewhere and this is where you could start. We also have a ranger come from the state park to talk about sea turtle conservation, identifying the uh, five different species of sea turtles that will nest here in Florida, uh, talk about the major factors that impact sea turtles. Hopefully the program I show to the kids uh, piques their interests and makes them interested in Florida history and its environment and all of the other living creatures that are here. During certain times of the year, boaters run the risk of ramming a sea turtle. Such a collision is usually fatal. The impact crushes the protective shell of this great reptile. Great ships of the sea also affect the marine turtles. 200 million years the turtles have been on this planet in one form or another in the oceans. There are five turtles that nest in Florida. The most common is what we have at the park is the loggerhead. Turtle can take a breath and stay down anywhere from three to five minutes depending on how active it is. Turtles hibernate like bears during different times of the year. <laughs> 